the game. It's a red skin. Yep guys welcome to my channel it's Roam Xblade and in today's video I will show you how you can make smoke animation or dust effect in Prisma 3D. So here I have a car I will give the link in description of this car model so let's here I made an animation of dragging like something so here we have to add the smoke so let's make it first so here I will just simply hide the car and here we need a smoke so let's make take a cube and the plane take a cube here and make the cube like something a little roundish type you might be thinking that you can use spare but spare in spare the rotation won't be like if you rotate the sphere it doesn't look like it's rotating so that's why i am here using a cube and make it a, something like a little roundish so you can do that Okay, so it's a little roundish type now. So at first we have to place it in the middle, then unhide the plane. Now we have to animate it. In first frame, it will be something like here under the plane. So I'll make a three second animation for each cube. Then we have to copy it multiple times. So the first frame was here and the last position will be something like here and we have to rotate little any you can rotate it in any direction and then in the middle like here in 45 let's bring it a little up here and make it a little bigger something like this. So let's play the animation now. Yep, it's okay. And now we have to copy our like. But first, we have to copy the full animation and rotate it. So here, I'll simply just drag the animation here. And in 90, I will add another keyframe. Why I added the keyframe? Because here, if I don't have the keyframe, let me explain you. And I just completely copy the animation and now i have to paste the animation in 9 frame 90 so if i long press on frame 90 i can't like paste animation in frame 90 because beside that here is empty and beside that here has a keyframe and when you click on side of any keyframe it will simply just select the keyframe beside it that's why i am here add a keyframe and now i can easily paste the animation here so i'll paste it i'll make a 10 second animation so i'll paste it until i get the like um so i have to like cross 300 frames and that's what copy as much as you want here i'll just paste it again and now I have to copy the whole animation. Okay, so we have copied the whole animation here. Now copy the cube and delete the animation from the cube. Okay, now copy the cube several times. I'll select copy it eight times so that i have total nine cubes okay. now i'll just go backwards and in each 10 frames after 10 frames 
I'll paste the animation. So we have uh, like we have more animation uh, we have the animation more than 300 frames so it's okay with that yeah now if i go to the minus frame like here in zero and let's here you can see it's working nicely but i forgot to just change the like the material so now i have to select all the cubes and add the materials to it so let's do it okay so it's done here now let's we just have to change the color a little darker and then low the transparency and you can copy like group it and copy it several times as much you want So I think that will be enough and if I now play the animation let me just load the transparency a little bit more and then copy it again and shrink it okay so now let's group everything and unhide the car now we have to place the smoke here inside the car and and just to the like parent it the smoke with the car so let's now let's render it but first i'll take a camera change the background to black and light so now let's render it to from 0 to 300 okay so the render is done here let me play it and as you can see it's working quite nice you can add like copy it more several times and load the transparency more so it will look more nice so if you like the video you know what to do and we will meet again in next video bye